Welcome back to the 8-Bit Challenge series. We are on now episode 45. And uh, Nova's given me Target Renegade for the CPC. And I will have to say, not exactly my favourite version. And I mean that very, 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 very sincerely. Um, I just don't like it. But let's get on with it anyway. Um, I've got to redefine the keys. I'm using my laptop, so there'll be no clicky of joystick buttons on this. So let's have a look. Let's do, I don't know, let's do that, that. That, that, and that, and then put a lot of bollocks in for player two. Pause. And uh, yeah, let's just get on with the bloody game. I just don't, I just don't like it. I don't like this version. Oh, and it's very rare I can knock a bike off without getting knocked over myself. And I'm not going to hate on it too much. Because this is not a shit game time, this is a 8-bit challenge where things are supposed to be fun. But this is not fun for me. That hammer, cute. Um, I just, um, that's how I just get the hate for it out of the way very quickly, then we can just crack on. Um, I don't like the very, 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 very small play area. It's got massive borders on the left and right. Very small screen. Uh, the graphics resemble too much of the NES for me. I don't like it. I'm sure the Amstrad could have done much better than that. Um, there's just so much wrong with this, and uh, I refuse to admit that it's a cracking version. It isn't. It's not. I don't care. I don't care. If that upsets any of you Hamstrad followers, then sue me. But it's, I'm just trying to dose you with a reality of uh, a dosage of reality here. It's not. Um, the one thing that stands out about this version, and I spoke to, to Chris about this. The music is absolutely bollocked in this. Um, it's like, I don't know if it's, it's the Amstrad fans of it. Oh, thank you very much. I tried to avoid that because every time I jump up and kick him, I, I get hit by the yellow guy. Get up. There we go, again. Um, I haven't seen, unless you're, you just refuse to see or hear it, and you really are a fanboy, and you'll defend it to you, you know, to the day you die, to get this game that is. Um, how can none of you can notice or mention anything about this music? The music is absolutely bollocks. Uh, on later levels, it stops playing. There's bips and bops that, that appear up. There's parts of the tune that play that I shouldn't do at the particular time. It's all out of sync. And the start of level three, the music is totally out of tune. It's horrible, horrible. Um, but hey, oh, that's, that's my uh, gripes out of the way. So let's get on with it. So he's got to level... He's got to the second loop of the punk level. I'm going to talk about the punk level when we're there. And I won't mention music too much, but there's some of that made me laugh. I mean, if, if I went to... No, I'm going to save it. We'll save it for the first loop. I'm, I'm starting to giggle about it now. Again, see? <laughs> it's very rare I can knock one of these off without getting knocked over myself. So anyway, we're, um, we've mutually agreed the official ending, I mean the official uh, series, this particular challenger for me, will come to an end on episode 56. That is the, to that is the ending agreement we've come to now, because uh, I've, it was, was going to be 50, it was going to be a lot more than that, but we got it down to 50, but there's, there's a few, there's a few cracking games that I've pre-recorded for him, and um, I just can't give it to anyone else, because I've mentioned past events on them it wouldn't work and to re-record them no chance it took me ages to uh, practice on those games and I ain't got the time to redo them so it's kind to, kind enough to go to 56 so that's another reason why this has come out so quickly I thought well maybe you'd still want the series to end roughly when it was going to on 50 time wise that would be the end of the year but with six more if I at least if I get mine out very quickly and he doesn't take too long with his then the, the finishing time will be roughly the same which uh, well I don't know if that will please him I'm not sure because he's the one that wants to uh, call it a day for whatever reason and then a new challenger level 2 thank you very much 
Uh, and um, level two. These look like blokes with weeks on. <laughs> level two. Uh, what am I doing? And then Challenger two will will immediately come on the fifty. Uh, eight because on 57 that'll be a challenge for me. You're not going to shoot me, mister. Come on, whoa, whoa. Um, on practice runs, I got him to shoot them all. Um, yeah, so the, the plan is. Did he shoot? Oh, I shot her. That's good. Um, the plan is to. What was the plan? Can't remember now. Oh yeah, the plan is for 56. Uh, he will Nova will give his last challenge. Then I will do one on 57. Oh, a bastard! She dropped too soon, and I got the bullet. Oh well. And then uh, challenge 58. Then you you will hear the new challenger, whoever that is. Anyway, that's enough of that. I'm going to mention something in a minute. That this is again proves my point about this music. It just cuts in. Parts of it cuts in and out when it wants to. And uh, there's a point where it cuts out completely and just plays a couple of bings and bombs. Come on. Yeah. Right, the music cutting out is, is gone. And you had a, you've had a bing just there and there's a bong that comes up. It's bollocks, mate. It's this sound... But, uh, I, the music's just bollocks in this. It really is. If you want to hear the, the 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 most, if you want to hear this in proper sync, then load the one to AK Spectrum up. If you want to hear this these tunes in awesome sync, then you've got to load up the Commodore 64 version. But no, I'm sorry, mate. Um, you might think this is a classic, and a lot of Amstrad game boys might think it's a classic. And if you've grown up with this on the Amstrad, then you might think it's a classic. But if you've grown up with a 1 to 8k Spectrum version, you ain't going to touch this. You're not going to go anywhere near it. That's just my feelings. Get out of it. The characters are very small. And as I said, it's the screen area. It's so small. Why is there such big borders on the left and right? Huge borders. I noticed that in a lot of Amstrad games, actually. Right, come on. Any more? Any more want some of this ball and chain? Pick that up. Yeah, you ain't gonna oh end of the level. Yeah, you ain't gonna hear much clicking. I'm using this on my laptop key, so it's very quiet. You might hear me suddenly go like that. <laughs> That's a bit exaggerating that was. Then you gotta touch them. Is that it? Right, level three. Now this I've got to um apart from the terrible out of Tune start. Listen to that. That's just so out of tune. And this is a bit. I'm just going to end it here as far as the piss take on, on this level. Look. That looks like. That does not look like a punk British punk. That looks like an 80s, 8 year old man with dentures. <laughs> it looks like an old geriatric. That wouldn't scare me at all. And I know these are the, uh, these are supposed to be the skinners because that's what you just did an head back there. But he looks like an old man in his near nineties with no with no teeth. <laughs> you know, with dentures. There we go. Anyway, that's all out of the way. As you can guess, I can't I can't stand this version. I don't like it at all. I don't think it's classic. I just thank God I didn't grow up on this version. It's it's frustrating as well. The game, uh, not the game engine, but the the uh, balance is is off as well. And the worst thing they do is, you haven't seen it yet, I don't think, is when, uh, well, what Chris calls them in a pincer move. And it just feels like they slide along with you. It looks, they, won't, they won't separate, unlike the Spectrum. They, don't, they haven't got that clever AI where they separate and try and, you know, work around you and sucker you in. They just glue to you. And it will happen shortly, I'm sure. And then it's a nightmare to get out of it. See, look at that. Oh, I'll try and do a better example. But it feels like you're controlling three characters at once sometimes. They're doing exactly what you're doing when you're going left and right, up and down. Well, left and right, anyway. 
So yeah, I thought I'd get this out as quick as possible. I'm sick of playing this game. I don't like it. There's no point delaying the inevitable. Um, as far as playing it even more, it's not going to happen. Uh, you missed me, didn't you? Come on, you YMCA fellas. Yeah, it could have been done better than this, surely. Let's see what the fuss is about. It's just in a still shot, it might look reasonable, but once you start playing it, it's extremely frustrating. Something out of the way. And that's supposed to be. Well, on there, it looks like. I don't know what it looks like, but on the Spectrum version, you can plainly see it's. Um, It's a club of some kind, but it that don't look like a club to me. Right at the end of the level, let's get some of you out of the way. Got three lives, I've got clumbers uh clumsily clumsy clumlessly <laughs> whatever the word, my tongue's all fucking tired at the moment. Clumsily. Ah Um Killed on level two with a bullet. That didn't help. I just don't like this game at all. I mean, I like the game, but not this version. I would honestly, happily, well, it, it, it would take somebody, it would take somebody with um, extreme force over me to force me to load this up rather than the 128K special version. That is a definitive version, period. And any of you that don't think that needs um, a shot of reality in your brain cells. How anyone can think this is better than the Spectrum version is beyond me. Now, I don't know why these guys are black. I mean, that's not really a racial thing. It's, um... Basically, it was rena renowned, this level, as the Beastie Boy fan level. Baseball caps, you know, or chabby level, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, it's only in this version that they're black. Reminds me of that wrestling manager in the 80s, 90s. You remember Slick? <laughs> Was that Jive Soul Bro? He used to sing. <laughs> at this level, they start ducking. These ones, there they, there they are. That's what they call the Beastie Boy fan. Get some of you. Okay, so I've sussed all that out. I mean, that's similar to the Spectrum, you know. You've got to jump over and back kick them. It's the only way to get them. Two of them now, it's a problem. See, look at that, I'm I was controlling all four then. I hate it. See, look at that, it's just. They're back where they were again. They just do everything I do, it's all wrong. Come on, there we go. I don't understand who did the music on this and why it's so messed up, but it's not supposed to be like that. I don't care what anyone says. So stop denying it. The music is fucked in this version. It's all wrong. Nothing's in tune. It's all out of sync. It's horrible. Let's turn the bloody volume down. I'd definitely rather play Double Dragon 2 on the Amstrad, even though that definitely had its faults. Best version, no doubt about it, but it had its faults. It wasn't really, really, really playable. It didn't make me want to load up and go, oh, this is really cool, I really enjoyed playing it. No, I just load my Amiga version up. Unless, uh, unless I want this to play the main arcade version. Thank that out. But the timings are very different on this version. Mm. 
Now, some of you might challenge the Commodore 64 version, but if you played it properly, I mean, if you put time in it and realised where the hit detection was, you'd be surprised. The soundtrack alone keeps you going. It's brilliant. Right, it's the end of the... Ooh, you little son of a brick. Yeah, I had problems with you before, didn't I? Keep chucking out bloody... There we go. Oh, sod. I'll deal with you in a second. Need to get rid of these two. Here he is. There we go. That's good. Can't get the brickets off the screen, but he can. Let's get rid of these two. Quick. Get rid of one of them anyway. Oh, and he's got the brick. Back kick. Yep. Oh, I want to knock him over. We'll deal with you again now. Oh, that'll do. I think that's it. No, I've got another screen yet, haven't I? I think I've got another screen, actually. Yes, I have. This is the final screen. Another brick. Oh, sod, another guy. Now it's obvious I'm going to get to the bar level, so I can talk about that now actually, but um, it plays very unfairly. It's very hard to get hold of that queue, because they lock onto you. Two guys lock onto you all the time. You sad. And that caused me a lot of frustration. Alright, have some of that then, Jimmy. Throw that at me, get it back. Right, the bouncer's levels. One, two, and get down on you. There we go. Now this next screen, this is where I kept losing the game. I got so fed up with it. Oh, fuck's sake. I got through these dumbbells. No, get off. It's getting the queue. That's a fight in itself. If you get the queue, you'll walk this level. If you don't, you're fucked. Split them. Look at that. Left and right, they move exactly the same pace as I do that. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I hate it. It's wrong. Quick, get the kit. Oh. <laughs> it's just like, what are they doing the moonwalk? It's like, I, ugh. I mean, I'm going to play this ever again after I've done this. Hey, thankfully, I got the cue. Now we're in business. And believe me, I'm good with a snooker cue. Here. But as much as I don't like this game, well, I'll requote that because I do like the game. As much as I don't like this version of the game, I am still trying. That's the whole point of the chance videos. I could easily go, no, stand there, there, he died, you win. No, I'm going to play, I'm playing, I'm trying. Now, I'm definitely, no, I'm not going to say it. I'm going to jinx myself. I'll say it in a, in a second. Ooh. Look at this big idiot. It looks like a real big chab in this, doesn't he? Right, I can safely say I've, I've definitely done this loop. Easiest part of the game. Mr. Big on the Commodore 64 was the most impressive. I remember when I first saw him straight across the screen. I bloody shit myself. I didn't know how to fucking handle him. But, yeah, this guy's easy on this version. Done. Right, loot two. Extra life. And this is where it gets frustratingly hard. Um, they all start to duck now. They all cling onto you a lot more. Oh, look, I actually kicked one off the bike without bloody falling off myself. See, they duck now. Some ducks, some don't. Got the I got the hammer. Oh, that's good. That helps. You've got to get the weapon. It literally is a challenge in itself just to get a weapon in this version. Well, on this uh, loop, anyway. Yeah, 
I don't like the way the sprites are drawn in this. I mean, that guy ain't sure. He's supposed to have a helmet on, but it looks like he's got a big afro. One of just uh, the red one, one, one in the red trousers. I had the music sorted in this, it might be tolerable, but it's awful. It's like, mm, the fans of this game don't want to touch on it. They don't want to mention it. They, they just they totally ignore it. It's not a problem, but <laughs> this sucks. It's horrible. It's like listening to one of your favourite songs. You put your song on, the mu <clears throat> you listen to the song, and when the, uh, the person starts singing, you listen to an instrumental version, <clears throat> you split the song up with the voice, and then you play the, the instrumental version, and then you start his or her singing at a different point. You won't be able to listen to it, it sounds dreadful. <clears throat> and that's what this is like. Come on. Thank you. I've got to deal with this bloody bike again. But we are going to play something much more fun after this. Much more fun. Much more upbeat. And I'll get onto that in a minute. Oh, bloody hell, did it again. His daddy knocks me down. So like once the third guy appears, it becomes a problem. And it's hard. Once you grab him and knee him, you've got to get so much distance between you and the other guy. Oh, there he goes, he peered out of nowhere. I noticed, uh, look at that, I'm <laughs> moving on four. It's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> move at different speeds, will you guys? Move yourself. you got brains, haven't you? Obviously not. Um, I can't remember what I was saying. <laughs> it just amused me, that, did oh, it's just silly. You don't see people... <laughs> Ah. Oh dear. Come on, get out of my way. Uh, so I've got to get to the punk level. Again. <laughs> Look at that. Come on. Loosen up, guys. Move in your own way. Back. Yeah, and you've got to knock them down about three times before you can sit on them and punch them. On this loop. Yeah, I got that one in before you, didn't I? Yeah, that was it. There were some occasions where um, I'd get ahead of myself, I'd beat the guys up, and where the person is, I've laid them out. Another one would suddenly appear, because it's the game's catching up with itself. It hasn't put the, uh, the right amount of enemies up. I got through them too quickly. So that's caught me out. I've, I've laid one out, I think, right, that's the end of you, and then suddenly this sprite appears where the dead one was, or the knocked out guy, and I get beaten the shit out of. That was frustrating. See, I can't lose a life here. And I can't remember what happens on the Spectrum version as well, but I know that if you lose a life, the time doesn't reset, or if the time hits zero and you lose a life, your energy doesn't get reset. So you end up losing, you could lose two lives within a second. I've done that many times, it's pissed me off. See, it's probably going to happen now. See, the time's getting low, my energy's low. One more and I'm, I'm dead. And the, if that's the case, the timer doesn't reset. I can't remember if that happens on the other versions. If it doesn't, that's another flaw of this game. See, I'm dead. And look, the timer's still running right down. That could happen on the other versions, I can't remember. But I'm pretty sure that if the timer runs out, you get your energy back. Um, but then again, I could be wrong as well, I don't know. I can't finish these two guys off. Right. Can I get on you? Yes, I can. And... Oh! Get in there. Well, I don't need it now, do I? See, I'm going to lose another life. I've got a minute. I'm not going to do this in a minute. But yeah, I'll go over 300,000. Uh, we got to quickly talk about... Before I forget, because we haven't done it yet. Uh, what we will normally do, we talk about the last game. And he played Horace Go Skiing. <laughs> and uh, come on, Chris, you did like it. It was fun. 
Some of those road crossings were either jammy or genius. It was like, oh, how the fuck did you get past that? You found a little bit in the middle of the road, which I didn't want to tell you about, which you can hover, but the trucks can still kill you. But there was some sudden change of movements where he landed it spot on. It was like, that was either fucking superb play or it was superb jamminess. But it was quite enjoyable to play. And he hit 2,000 points at some point, so he certainly did well. I thought you'd like that. <laughs> but I won that one. But I got a feeling that this one's gonna go to him. See, look, 19, 18 seconds. Look at my energy. I ain't gonna get past this. It's game over. I'm gonna lose another life because my time, and I'm almost gonna lose another life because my energy, and I think that might be game over. There we go. Dead. Oh, and he nearly swiped me there, look, dead. And I don't get my energy replaced. So on it, and I'm gonna lose another life. Stop following me! <laughs> I mean, we're, there we go, that's another life. So that's two lives in, what, ten seconds I've just lost. I fucking hate this version, Chris. I'll never load it up again. It's going to take somebody with a gun to my head that's known to have pulled the trigger before and other people killed them to make me load this version up over the fucking superb definitive 128k Spectrum version. I hope I'll never see this version again. I hate it. I've not enjoyed it. You're definitely going to have the victory here. My days have come to an end, I think, unless I can pass this level. And Well, even so, I don't think I'll get another life yet till 350,000. See, I can't get anywhere. This is really annoying now. I've got to... A mate of mine who does my... fixes my games, um played this and has the same thoughts as me and he had to go and actually play the one, the Spectrum version just to get all the memories of this out of his head and know exactly what I'm going to do, followed by the music of the Commodore 64 version. It's exactly what I've got to do. I've got to get this out of my mind. I don't want to play this ever again. I don't know if I... Oh, damn, I swung it too soon. I'm fucked now. I think that's game over. Go on. You want to kill me. Come on, boys. Come and get me. Lovely jubbly, come and get me. Well, I got to the second loop. End of the first stage. So I'm not, uh, I'm not, okay, just do move your own way. Um, I'm, I'm not um, too disappointed because I've, I've never really played this. Only on the long play. Just, I'll, I'm still trying, there's a chance. I don't like that slidey move they do. It's just, there we go, I'm fucked now. There we go. Thank God for that, it's all over. That's yours, Chris. Well done. Good bloody riddance to it. And it's not just because I lost. It's a horrible version. And I'm going to make my feelings right there. Shitville. And I've got a right to put that because it's my video. So deal with it. If you don't like it, Amstrad fans, sue me. Shitville crap. That's enough of that. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. You win. Yuck. Um... Congratulations, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, let's talk about the next game. This is a fun game. This is a classic conversion of a classic. It's time for you, Chris, to get your little waggler out. I'll see you there. Hypersports on the ZX Spectrum, an absolute fantastic fantastic fucking conversion this brilliant so playable really really well done one of the best um decathlon kind of games sports games track and field you can get on the 8-bit especially to spectrum and uh six events we're going to do all six events and the idea of this challenge is to see what your overall points is on the first loop so as soon as you get to the weightlifting and finish that um then it all goes down to your points so any one loop and I'm using keyboard. I don't like playing games like this on my keyboard. But that's the way it is. Right. Uh, yeah, of course. Name in. Uh. Right, first event. Swimming. You're going to be jab away on these keys. Set. Go.
Now I've I have managed to get under 26 seconds on this, but it doesn't matter, does it? When it comes to a live a real recording, it's good. Come on, can you clear 26 seconds? Oh no, just outside it. But I've done 2580. I think is one of my tops. Well, there's one up there, like 2582, one of my practice runs, second lot on the board. That's a good set of points. And now to one of my favourite is the clay shooting. Such a great game, this. Brilliant. You need to hit everything to be able to get the chance of shooting the duck for 5,000 point bonus and a perfection. There we go, perfect. So far so good. I'd like to at least get two perfects on this. Two perfects. Cool. Can you get three perfects in a row? That doesn't happen very often with me. Usually get two. There's one I bloody miss. Yeah. Tricky that little bit. So, so good. Come on, guys. Yay! Three perfects. 8700 as well for that one. Top. Excellent. Uh, the horse event. It's funny, you can land on your head and still qualify. But you just have to hope for the best on this one. Don't have to go left or right on the keys for this. Apart from this bit. <laughs> oh, but I still qualified 856. Landed on my head. I have got a 999 on this. And I'm going to show you that. Unless I can get it here. Just as a little bonus to prove I'm, that I can do it. You'll be lucky. Be so precise. Now. And again. <laughs> On his head again, 871. Oh dear. Must be the amount of spins. Got a couple of nine three eights there in the top right. Oh, such a wonderful game. Oh, so I still qualified. Didn't land one on one of them on my feet. Shane, I'll show you at the end of this challenge. Nine point nine nine. I'm chuffed. I actually caught it on film, but unfortunately, my overall points in the game wasn't very good. To win three, right? Okay. Oh, nice bullseye there. Get four hundred and six hundreds. That's good. Oh, bit too eager that one. Bit too late on that one. Bit too eager on that one as well. Cool, finish off with the bullseye. That's good. good. I'm getting my entire strength ready because there's one event coming up which to get anywhere in the game you've got to go all out and get the points. And that is the weightlifting. So I'm getting my energy ready for um, this lifting his head. No, lice. Uh, the biggest weight as possible. Well, well, we'll get to it in a minute. Talk to you about that. Maybe we got triple jump yet. No, that was too eager. That's 
good. Yeah, I thought so. As soon as I hit that, I knew that was a good one. Cool. Point to go up nicely now. Yeah, I didn't get a, uh, a nine point somewhat on the horse event, but never mind. 400, damn, I thought it was a bullseye. 400. 400. Bullseye, lovely. Oh, two in a row. Oh, three in a row, a triple. Oh, I've never done four. Oh, a quadruple. <laughs> lovely. Wow. I never got four bullseyes in a row. <laughs> yeah, four. That's very good. Now the triple jump. Oh, this is a left and right job. <laughs> Come on, get the speed up. <laughs> Three, 41, 45 ideal. Nah, that's a bit high. Uh, my best on this event is over 18 meters. seem to get the speed up as much as I could before. Oh, I thought it was going quiet on the keys there. 46, that's good. 42, not so bad. And 44, that's good too. But again, the speed, speed's good, but to get a 70 meter jump, you've got to get it way part of 1300 centimeters a second speed. As long as I can qualify and get any points, exactly the same distance look. Foam jump. Come on, 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 come on. 1240. Right on the line, 50 a bit high. 45 perfect. 50 again a bit too high. Oh well, all 60 meter jumps. Now I've got to get my strength together. Because this is the hard one. This is the business end. The weightlifting. Oh, I can't do super heavy. So to get the points, uh, we've got to go. Um, we've got to go further down the ladder. I mean, I could do flyweight and guarantee um, a score. Because all I need to do to qualify to get the points is flyweight. But the heavier you go, the more points you go. So we're going to go. Um, a lot heavier and we're going to choose we are going to go for heavyweight oh right <laughs> I know this sounds dodgy but Come on! Lift! Press that button. Yeah, I've got the lift. No, I haven't. Yes, I've got the lift. <laughs> I'm slowing down. <laughs> Glad no one's walking in. <laughs> no one walking in the room at this moment. <laughs> Especially the angle I'm set at. Come on, that fucking judge! Yay! <laughs> oh. Oh God! God, it reminds me of my teenage years. <laughs> oh, if I'm married now. <laughs> oh, I'm fucked. Oh, I got one more go to go. Oh, that was a lot of points, heavyweight. <sighs> Suck it in, Daz. Oh, right. What are we gonna do this time? Fuck, super heavy. Oh, I'm not gonna get any points for that. My poor keyboard, luckily I've rerouted it where I'm using the two top corner buttons, true video and invert video, buttons I never use. Oh, fuck, I got so light-headed. That was the best wank I've ever had. <laughs> right, uh, okay. <laughs> right. 
thing, Darren, what are you going to do? Uh, right, okay, sorry, my head's really gone. Blood goes right out of your head. <sighs> See, I could select an easy weight here, but you don't get many points. <sighs> Sod it. Uh, right, we're going to go for... We're going to do it again. <laughs> Whew, right. Here we go. I don't think I'm going to do it this time. I just got the energy. Got to get that lift. Come on, press the button, get that lift. Yes, we got the lift. Come on. I'm dropping it here. Come on. One more judge. The time's running out. I'm getting knackered. Come on. Oh, thank God. Yes. Oh, two back-to-back -back super, two back-to-back -back heavyweights. We're not playing swimming, that's it. One loop only. Oh. oh my good god, I am so fucking shattered. These are the sort of games, along with Daily Thompson Decathlon and Daily Thompson Super Test, that fuck up your keyboard and your joysticks. Bloody hell, must have burnt off 100 calories there. Eh? Well, there you go. 71,306. That's your goal, mate. So until next time, <laughs> interested to see what your next challenge is. Oh, Zeus out. Oh, I forgot. I've just almost forgot anyway. Um, I said I was going to show you earlier in case I didn't get it. And this is what a 9.99 .9 looks like. But then again, you might get it yourself. So who cares? But in case you don't, Here's what it looks like, and uh, it was on one of my earlier attempts, but the overall score wasn't as good as the one I've just got, so 9.99, total perfection, there you go, 9.99, you can't beat that. So, alright mate, until next time, see you later.